All right, our next video is on analyzing limits graphically. The first thing you want to do is make an accurate sketch of the graph because you're basically going to be using this to determine the values of your limits. So finally, you're going to be asked to find various limits and you're going to need to use that graph to find those. So again, that makes accuracy very, very important and then you're just going to apply what we talked about in the earlier videos. So here we're given a piecewise function f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 when x is greater than negative 2 and it's equal to x when x is less than or equal to negative 2. So here we go. Step 1 is make an accurate graph. So here is my graph and again if you're having uh, a little bit of trouble with this I would advise you to go back and rewatch the video on piecewise functions. So again having a nice graph allows us to very quickly and easily find what the limits are as x approaches negative 2 from the left, the limit of f of x is equal to negative 2. The limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right of f of x is then equal to 3. So since the right hand and the left hand limits don't match, the two-sided limit, the limit as x approaches negative 2 of f of x does not exist. 